Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld and his Wanda's Legacy. And we are hiding in the corner here because we are being attacked by a couple of bandits. We're getting ourselves in position so that... And a mad raccoon. Randy. Action! Is this going to work out for us? We're gonna attack the horseshoe pin, which is annoying. Hey! Alright. Uh, wow. The raccoon won. Oh, now they're gonna steal what they can. Um, well, so we are going to... Actually, I don't mind if they just steal some ambrosia. It's hardly the end of the world. I'm sort of a little annoyed on principle. Oh, right, the mad raccoon's still alive. That's actually the real threat. Um. Why aren't you attacking the raccoon? Oh, is it? Shit. It's because mad doesn't count as hostile the same way. Well, that does. It's the hunting for food that doesn't. Uh, maybe I clicked the ground, but then... No, no. If I clicked the ground, they would have walked over there. I clicked on them to hope that they would start attacking, and they just moved to the other side? Maybe they're still pathing over there. I don't know. Something weird that I clearly don't understand. Okay. Well, some slight injuries. Tim's going to have to do some doctoring, yes? Once they're in bed. You're going to consume some meal. Let me reset you. You're still going to consume the meal first. Okay. There you go. Ten, yes. Oh. Well, that was less pleasant than it could have been. But overall, fine. Are you grabbing a meal from over there? All right. Do we have graves? We do have some graves, which is good. Um, Haskin. Could you maybe get your ass into bed so you can get medical treatment, you stupid idiot? God, I hate the pawns in this game sometimes. Yeah, there you go. You're tending. You're going to get an infection and die because you didn't go to bed. Patienting is the number one. Admittedly, there wasn't a medical bed available, but still... They do usually seem to default to their sleep beds, but every now and again, they decide something else is more important for them to do. Um, oh yeah, so I discovered this button. How long has this been in the game? I don't know. Did I use it last game? Is it from a mod? Is it in the base game? I don't know. But uh, yeah, the auto cut uh, of plants probably came with the same update that added the, um, the pen marker with the auto cut over here. Um, so I don't have to worry about doing this anymore. I'm going to make sure I'm going to turn off the sewing over here. We'll get this harvest. But yeah, the fact that there is a button that just keeps trees trimmed in the wind cells now is great. All right. The teaching too. I wanna, no, 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 no. Not the hollow. Art does getting this corpse out of there, please. Huntsman's feeling pretty terrible. The environment is ugly. I, I recognize that. But... Construction botched. What's your construction skill at, Emily? Six. And you, you're botching on a lamp? Girl, I'm disappointed. You construct those, because right now we're going into the fall season. You know what I should do? Because it'll it'll ceiling this once the doors are up. But if I do this, the door the ceiling will go up earlier and things will start stop decaying. wooden fence. Yeah, so now she's going to cut down trees that are in the way to build the ceiling. There you go, and we'll stop having decay over here. Because it doesn't need to be enclosed, it just doesn't, it needs to be under a roof. Our plant cut is still a higher priority than um, uh, than construction, but still. Animal handling. Oh, jeez. All right, I had, sorry, I had a phone alarm set up, but I'm already awake. It's okay. Cargo pods. Um. All right, we'll do an urgent haul on that. Not that we're hurting for food at all. I'm wondering if I could. I'm sorry, did I turn off all the sewing? I must have, oh, those must have been just under the UI when I was deselecting these. That being said.
That's 60. Probably just a little shy. Maybe it... I'm gonna leave this rice off, but we'll go ahead and replant the corn. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. We don't need this to grow right now. Quest expiring. Volcanic winter. Ah, it's 14 days of volcanic winter. I think... I think I'm gonna say no. Also gonna just hold off on Emily's yeoman ceremony here. Of the level one Silinx, what's useful? Solar Pimprick is useful, although I don't always use it. Um, I don't know, if, what kind of combat one? Is there like a single target Berserk, Berserk at level one? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't think it's critical to do that. Plus, someone will need a meditation spot, and Emma's going to have to spend some amount of her meditating, which doesn't sound like our best use of time. Right now, things are a little tight, so we can just hold on to that ceremony for now. No reason to rush it. Oh, yeah, I probably should have prioritized getting those traps back up, actually, but that's fine. Do, 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 do. And research. Oh, not enough wood. Okay. Harvest fully grown. Little control thing. Reset you. What are we still researching right now? Yeah, battery, which we are going to want. But yeah, we need to get our construction going in here. Cut down another tree. Good. Rebuild these. Hold snap. Okay, well... So if we get below minus 10, that will kill our plants. Now, you just, you are connected. You just don't have um, a grid going on. What we're gonna have to do is close this door and get a second power thing set up here so we don't freeze to death indoors. I mean, we might be fine, but we will get debuffs from sleeping in the cold, which is no good. I'm going to get you to work on this immediately, Em. Well, without a battery, it's going to be a little annoying. We'll have to do what we can. All right. Let me reset these, put them down to 20. I'll put the, when we get the freezer or the, the coolers, we'll probably set them to 22 or something. Just keep that little bit of a gap in there so they're not constantly. I mean, if, if they'll sit at 21, they'll both be on low-ish or one of them will be on low, but I think it'll be better for power management to have a little bit of a gap. All right, we're cutting on lots of trees right now, which great. Maybe I should have Emily focus on her research for a bit and get those batteries going on. Man, we got this here. I'm wondering, can I make room for two prisoners over here? While there's no prisoners around? Even if I just get rid of this, then I can put a bed here. It'll look, the whole thing will look pretty screwy, but it'll work. I don't know if we need to prioritize it. Huntsman, why are you so cranky? Right, because you haven't been converted yet. 22. It's getting there. Need more socializing to occur. And then, yeah, when we get our third... And we could also YOLO some of the ceremonies, and we might get lucky and have someone join us, but it's pretty unlikely because they'd be pretty crap ceremonies right now. And yeah, if we got a third, then we could make an emulating influencer, which gives her convertibility. Minus 10. So that is officially starting to kill plants. That's slavers from Hyvador. I'm not... Well, you can also get colonists out of that. You don't just have to get slaves. Although we don't have much in the way of money. But we should take a look anyway. Yeah, they'd all be joined as slaves. Um, oh, they will buy Ambrosia. That's good. I'm going to sell them the gold. I think it's probably a good idea right now. And we don't need the gold right this second. And as we know, any sale lowers our overall wealth because we're not really getting value out of it. Yeah. Which technically does give us enough to get a slave, but we're not going to. Everyone doesn't love me. We, we must have had something go on. They should be neutral. Huntsman. Without a table. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. Um, This fine meal job has to be reset. 
this um, was incorrectly said at some point. Uh, I was trying to do the meat only job again with the you do on simple meals, but that doesn't apply to fine meals. They need both. I was oops, not lavish. I was getting my um, my types of meals confused in the user interface here. Uh, fine meal. Well, we still can't make fine meals, so we weren't making fine meals regardless. But even with the skill, we wouldn't have started making fine meals because it was set to meat only, which literally cannot work. But yeah, we'll set these to do forever. So if we do have both meat and veg, we'll try to convert some. Even that dangerous temperatures. Yeah, so it's minus 18. We don't have we don't have parkas or anything, but we shouldn't normally need it. Oh, it's also combat suppliers. Okay, let's check that. We can sell some crappy weapons. And this cloth sash. <sighs> Behind the armor is so expensive. Buy some real medicine, but we've got some and we got herbals. No, I think we're okay. Let's just take the silver for now. All right, new trap set up. That's good. Okay, you do have some hypothermia kicking in. Now, I'm going to leave these doors open so that um, I don't have to rush to get anyone through there um, so that it acts as more bait for attackers to want to come into our base in general. Although, really, we want to funnel them through here. But when we get our trap corridor... Um, so, I'm probably going to build the kill zone here. Do I just do the kill zone immediately rather than build the temporary trap corridor over here? Maybe I do. Maybe I at least outline the box. Not even use it necessarily as a kill zone right now. Like, don't have to build too many defenses. But just figure out the, the space for it and then build a trap corridor coming off of it. Yeah, maybe that's the thing to do. Should move these into a corner here. We'll be able to move this major brick risk. Just convert, buddy. Just convert. Also, you know what? There's a bunch of blood here. Can you clean this up because this place is looking ugly. In fact, Haskin, I'm going to set your clean to like a two over here. Okay, you're going to go back to entertain yourself. No, clean a little bit more because, yeah, this room is bad. There's a little more dirt over there. A little more over here. Yeah, hopefully Haskin will clean a little bit more than with, between the plants and everything. Uh, what has the temp in here? Yeah, we will get the slept in the cold debuff regardless. Destitute review G. 19 days. They will work and fight. One person. I'm sorry, Mushinto. All right, I accept. What's your deal? I think you have red eyes. Oh, Asar. I don't know if I have any go juice for you there, buddy. Huh. Well, that's maybe less than ideal. Help the cooking. We could um, sign some mining jobs. You're gonna have a hard time without your go juice though. Let's mine out the rest of this so that we can get ready to build our wall. Hell, you can start with help with stone making as well. Although we did hit that limit. Maybe I remove the limit or just Get Emily to start working on the outer wall again. I wish you were good in constructions. Oh, there we go. Conversion happened. Okay, lovely. Hold on. I will go ahead and, and um, unforbid these. Okay. And Emily can now become an influencer, which is what we're going to do. Top priority. Because uh, with three, we do get cranky if we don't have an influencer. We still need a leader for some of our rituals to go better. But we'll have an influencer ready to go. Emily will now be able to do convert actions, although we don't need it on Huntsman anymore, but that's okay. We'll be ready for whoever comes next. I could try to convert on Billa, but I don't think there's much reason to do it. Okay, roll change, da 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 da. Roll active, refugee active, da da da. Need batteries, that is true. So Billa should be mining. Excellent. Okay, yeah, because we could use that. I mean, we're not desperate for metal right now, although soon. Oh, party. Well, you know what? 
Party might be a great idea then if we've got some horror moods. Dull barracks. Something cold. Uh, did you not get a party specific buff? Or you might still be partying. And yeah. As I say, I think it feels recreation. But don't you also get a party buff? And we're out of power, so it's getting quite chilly in here. Eat a meal. Sleep. Attended party, plus eight. For ten days? Oh, wow, okay. I mean, I must have known at some time that it was such a big number, but I don't know. Yeah, we got some corpses there to unforbid. So food situation should be okay. okay I'm going to start working over here. Yeah, our pen's still not enclosed. That's fine. Right, once this wall goes up, I can remove a bunch of this bottom fence here, which is just there to keep wildlife out. It'll help with some of our movement as well. But yeah, we need a lot of things to be constructed. This cold snap doesn't last too long. Um, and with that in mind, actually... I'm going to go in a lot of sewing here. We might have to do some catch-up on our food production, since obviously things are going to be slowed down a little, unless we do some hunting. Right now we're good. We got lots of food, because we did corn harvest. Maybe I will leave that off. Oh, yeah. All right, I thought I got confused between cutting and sewing, but no, we're good. I guess you are on cooking duty. I don't know if butchering the squirrels is the highest priority, but sure, fine. I mean, you are helping to take some workload off Huntsman, although Huntsman right now doesn't have as much to do because he can't plant outside. He can plant indoors, although if it gets too cold, if the heaters are off, they will die here. How are you rotting away in storage? Oh, the cold snap is done. Never mind. It's like, shouldn't everything be frozen? Hunt these turkeys. I mean, they're very conveniently located, but I still don't think we have the cooking skill to make the fine meals, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, let me actually cancel this. Because, yeah, we might make the uh, kill box kind of area over here. Move those out of there because they're going to be in the way of one of our doors. Speaking of... Maybe doorway there. We do actually also have to seal this section in. There you go. Leave some door gaps. But yeah, that's probably a bunch of this wall actually has to be removed, but that's okay. Oh, Billa, I'm sorry. You don't actually have to sleep outside, buddy. Reset you. And we'll also put you on the schedule. Hopefully improve happiness. But yeah, I'm a little worried about your go juice there, bud. And power's out again. Nice moving furniture is a pretty low priority. So much construction botching, even though you're at a six. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we need to run any of these things right now, but we're ready to go, because I don't think I'm concerned about converting Villa. Although it'll be really annoying if they decide to join us. And I guess they are getting some negative debuffs because of um, some other requirements they have going on. You know what? Here, tell you what. Let's do this. Whack convert action over there. Pretty big certainty change. Hmm. Meditating. All right. And then presumably you're going to go back to mining. Yeah, we got to reorder. I should probably move the cooker over here. Yeah, okay. Listen, Emily. Let's get ready some moves. You're going to get moved here. No? And then the cooker can get moved right next to this door. And obviously, there'll be some other big rain arrangements by the time we get around to actually making ourselves a freezer. I'm going to 
queue up some more beds here. Uh is gonna get moved right there. Interrupt Huntsman for a sec from making his meals. Sorry, buddy. There you go. But it'll be much more convenient over here, won't it? Exactly. Oh, and you're making fine meals. Did you just get to six? Cooking six. Lovely. All right. I'm happy I uh, changed that rule in time. I don't know how long it had been like that with the fine meal. Um, I'm sure the comments had words at some point, but, you know, again, a little bit of pre-recording over here. Uh, but... We got the fix in before it caused any issues, because it literally wouldn't have been possible to make fine meals anyway. All right. Build, build, build. Still hoping we can restart and recruit someone with actual construction skill at some point. Boy, wouldn't that be nice. That'll be doing that. Let's check the home zoning here. Cover that for repairs. Oh. This. Home zone that bit of fence there. Actually, don't have to worry about the bottom part because it's going to get deconstructed later. Okay. Good enough for now. I think we might put a couple of batteries in here. I'm just going to go and specify that a roof should get built here for later. Uh, should probably set up an actual butcher table. Presumably it's a little faster. I don't know if it, there, there's any other benefits. I don't know if there's better yields. Oh, there it is. Um, put it right there. We'll leave the butcher spot for now, I suppose. And yeah, milled in the wall is still probably fairly important. Um, Interesting. Do we want to... Yeah, maybe now's a good time. Um, select similar things on the map. Harvest fully grown ambrosia everywhere. Oh, you are replanting. I was to say, it's a little on the cold side, but plants won't grow very well. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to turn off sowing for everything right now. Because it will grow, but not very well. We'll still allow this. Yeah, Huntsman, you can go and grab those. Oh, Emily's... Oh, right. Em... Do I want to bring down your plant cut? I'm going to bring it down to a three at least. Or bring the construction up to a two, either way. Because you do have to focus on the construction. You're not you're still not great at it, but it still has to be you. Kind of a crummy situation. Um what would be our next mining priority? Oh, maybe we could get the jade mined out while we've got Billa. And we can be ready to build, because I'm still thinking temple here, we'll probably do the shared jade wall for maximizing beauty in the temple, and then we get to piggyback on it over here. Again, we can also build jade fences, which give you just as much, as I understand it, just as much beauty as a jade wall, but for one-fifth the material. Walls take five units, fences take one. So um, you can get a lot of use out of that, but we'll do the shared wall because it will benefit our, our big barracks, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. Askin drawing in kind of an awkward spot because we're going to be building there later, but sure, I guess that's fine. And then presumably some, there'll be some block making by by Haskin, probably. Where's the links? Over there, okay. Another Ambrosia Sprout, okay. Now, I think that the hunting from hunger doesn't actually trigger attacks. Yeah, see, Emily doesn't start aiming immediately. Now, once we hit them, then they'll go into revenge mode. I might have been able to make it past the traps. Okay, that's actually super annoying. See, now it's revenge mode, and now they're going to auto-attack. Um, pull back with Haskin here. I was going to say, let, let Billa take the aggro. Okay. Um, okay, good. You are going to go rest. 
And then M. And to Haskin immediately. I mean, Billa too, but Haskin first priority. Yeah, we might, I don't know, maybe we could have made it back to the traps, but I had assumed not. So I don't know. Some or 10 quality on some of that, but I think everyone will be okay. We got everyone pretty quickly looked after, so hopefully we're fine. Uh, so now that's been harvested here, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these zones, since apparently we don't need them because of this. My god. All right. Which is nice. That's actually one of the reasons I uh, like the colony manager mod usually, because you can set it up to automatically chop those uh, wind turbine cells. Uh, apparently we don't need that anymore. I still like it to do sort of like a fire and forget with the tree cutting, like try to keep 100 logs around. And if we have less than that, mark some trees for cutting or whatever number I want to set. It's actually really convenient, but probably less important than the wind turbine thing. Because it's not always convenient to put little growing zones. You can pave it as well. Or if you load it up with rocks, but then as soon as some rocks get taken away for block making, then, um, then I, have to, I mean, you can forbid and stuff, but it looks stupid. I don't like seeing the little X's on the map, you know? I don't think I'm alone there. As we know, aesthetics matter. All right, so we're still good on food, which is good, because the growing period was sort of bonkerfied a little bit. Um, oh, I can allow sewing again. It's still a little chilly. But yeah, I, I think I'm fine with this. Oh, we are still going into the worst growing period, which could kill the plants again. No, you know what? I was right the first time. Keep the sowing off. We could do a little plant harvesting. We could just do a little hunting, too. Are we making the fine meals? Because we do have some meat. But we're not desperate for food right now, so actually, I'm not going to freak out. Good and unclosed. I know, we're working on the game. Need batteries. I know we're... Okay, we're not working on that one quite as quickly, but... I mean, I suppose I could... Um, Select any bushes in the visible area. It's not going to be much walking. Oh, speaking of harvesting, you got your ambrosia bushes way over here. They are good money, so it's not the dumbest thing in the universe. A little bit of education. Be learning some crafting. I mean, Haskins crafting is already pretty good. But sure, why not? Plus, I think this helps to, yeah, fill the learning trait, which has a lot of value. You're actually going to turn 10 relatively soon there, Jason. Growth tier 5, it'll actually be at least a 6. What if we could squeeze in a seven? Number of days, and then we've got this number over here. Now, the number of days to growth here, remember, whatever is left here, which is about 30 days, divide that by four, because of the basic um, growth boost to children. Yeah, there we go. So for now, these can... Oh, that's a good bed, isn't it? Uh, I don't think the quality of the bed affects medical care. Transport pod crash. Squirt, no faction, so we can capture you. A wooden foot, which isn't ideal, but not the end of the world. Slothful is annoying. You're not... You're not the worst. You do have the three constructors. I mean, Slothful sucks. But we could actually have... Sucks, bud. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 12, and this is funny. Um, we could actually have someone with construction passion. Maybe be starting a little on the low side. You're slothful, and you have the wooden foot. I'm not convinced Squirt is enough of a winner. We could do a rescue and see if they just randomly join us. The, rather than going through the entire prisoner rigmarole. Maybe we'll do that. Because if we get an instant join, then that's quite convenient. I don't, don't think it's worth going through like weeks of prisoner shenanigans to get someone who's, eh, they're fine, but unremarkable, right? Would be great if we got to uh, a little more idleness for research, but I don't know if we can afford to like deprioritize other jobs enough. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should just do that and get the batteries going. Still build a couple more research benches. Well, I could build 
three more at this point and just put everyone in hardcore research just to power through the batteries real quick. Yeah, we'll just flag that for medical. Flag that for medical. And we'll end up doing the same thing with this afterwards because apparently we're starting to get some decent quality stuff. Plan for an end table in there and a wooden dresser as well for more comfort. Chaplain cast abilities again. Um... Well, Squirt's actually sleeping. Okay, now you're not sleeping. So we can drop a convert on you. Because if you do join us... And they did! Squirt joined. All right! Well, we've got that. No, 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 no. Um, I don't think we've got a pretty enough place to do a conversion ritual right now. So I'm not worried about saving a cooldown for that. I mean, yeah, you'll be on construct. Grow plant cut is fine. And Emily, I mean, we might still need her to build some things, but Squirt will gain some skill pretty quickly. At four for traps will happen really fast. Well, in theory. Anyway, I'll leave your construct in a four just so that I can always right click you to make you do the job. Do this, mine, smith, which ultimately will be taken over by Haskin, we think. So right now, if there's nothing to mine and there's nothing to smith, Emily will start researching, which I think is very good. I guess we must have mined out the jade because it was over there, right? So it must be in storage now. Yeah, there it is. Uh, only 15? That one's... Oh, 75. Did I... Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, did I misread it? But no, there was another chunk right over there. Okay. That makes lots of sense. Maybe it's time to, to get the temple up because we can start running the rituals. Uh, ideally, we'd like a leader to run the uh, the parties because it's not the influencer. It's the leader. But still, we could do it with a lower success rate. Um, And for the conversion ritual, we could get a good temple set up. I bet your wealth just went up from, yeah, look at that, mining that jade. So actually, using the jade in wall construction ASAP would be a pretty good idea. And the reason is, as far as I understand it, um, once you construct something, its wealth value goes down by half. Like the material that was used. So the jade used in the wall is not as valuable as jade just sitting around as a trade good. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the build roof command immediately over here. Um so that those trees get marked as early as possible. Not that it really matters one way or another, but it'll be okay. Emily doing some research, learning us some batteries, and actually working on something she's passionate about. That's great. Squirt, you're still getting your medical treatment, which is fine. But yeah, we'll have to get you converted over. We have, we have at least two ideologies that hate baseliners. Or, I don't know if it's they specifically hate baseliners, but they have a preference for something else. Um, which is really awkward for these joiners. We'll be ready for prisoner if we don't do that. Yeah, still don't know if Squirt was a winner, but it'll have to do. Um, possibly turn down your bed rest now. Start putting you to work. Where are thrombos? Uh, again, I don't think I'm... I know me. I know my limits. I'm not competent enough to do, like, the kitey kitey stuff required to kill these guys with these low-tier weapons. I'm just not. You know, in life, it's important to know what you suck at. Um, I could build a wall here for now. I think those are where we're going to put our coolers come summer, but, I mean, we're nowhere there yet. And yeah, Squirt is fine as, cons as a constructor also to do the plant cutting. I mean, they're not great at the plant stuff yet, but... They will be fine at it. Oh, um, I just saw your little recreation. I mean, you should recreate yourself naturally as well, but you can also take the action because you're pretty miserable right now. And we'll see about getting you a bionic leg at some point in the future. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find one from the vendor. We can't do much to fix your um, your slothfulness and your 35% speed debuff for constructing or for uh, like any work. And that is a really bad speed debuff. 
Let's not deny that. That is horrible. Maybe so bad that I shouldn't even bother rescuing you, but we did and you're here now. Fine. Can you fight? Melee. I think we sold a lot of melee. Well, you know what? You can equip this wooden club. There's not a lot left in it, and the wooden club doesn't do that much DPS, but at least you got something. Let's uh, reorganize this way so we have our three melee ears here and our two range people that way. I wonder if people are still finding out that you can rearrange people by right click and dragging. It's been built into the game for a long time. I know I was shocked the first time I discovered it. And every time we do it on stream, there's always someone who's like, what? Yeah, it's really not obvious, but there it is. All right, about halfway to batteries. Low medicine, which isn't ideal. Maybe what I should do is visible area, harvest some more heal root. Let's do that. I mean, at least Squirt can learn some construction skills. So at some point, their high construction number will at least offset partful, partially their slothfulness. <clears throat> and Emily can still participate in some construction, although right now I'm happy to do the research for the batteries and possibly solar. So we can just get, you know, the one wind turbine, the one solar and the battery. And then our power situation's pretty good at that point. Because we know we're going to get some power every day. Some days we're going to get lots of power with the wind blowing, and sometimes we're also going to get power at night. But that seems to do a pretty good job. All right. Nice and toasty inside. Still fairly chilly outside. Table's pretty far away from the um, stockpile with the meals, but I'm not going to be too worried about that. I guess Squirt doesn't have their own bed yet. Did you go and actually construct yourself a new bed? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me reset that. Emily, I'm going to need you to finish this because your skill is still higher. So we'll get higher quality. And you know what? Let's do the rest of the bedroom. Normal quality. Bulk good trader. Where is you? Over there. That might be useful. An eclipse. <laughs> ah, all that talk about solar panel and Randy's like, oh yeah? Um... We'll cue the cove. I'm going to sell this for now, just in case it rots, because we can't use it for a meal. I don't sell components. I'll keep the cloth. I think I'll sell a bunch of these random leather bits. We're going to have a hard time getting enough to make clothing from that. But theoretically, a constant supply of cotton. Um, I'm going to buy the three herbal medicines for now. Ooh, we'll sell off all this ambrosia. What are we going to buy? Yeah, I'm... This is all the stuff I'm willing to sell, but what do I want to buy? Because we need to do something here. I mean, I suppose I could build, buy cloth for industry. I'm, I'm probably just buy a bunch of wood first of all, so we don't have to worry about chopping as much. It might seem silly because we're selling the leather, but I'm going to start... buying cloth here mostly because it actually we you know we do lose in this trade so it brings down the wealth for good or for ill but that way we have a, a large number of cloth you know that will help us actually craft something i think this is fine Make sure they get that hauled in please Get that. We still need the outer wall stuff. Well, that actually may have been more important than the uh, temple. But oh well. Dreadful construction. All right, build something. That's pretty small. Masterwork recurve bow. Gene pack. Great bow. That's a lot of damage. How do I feel about that? I mean, that wouldn't be a very time consuming construction. But it would still consume some time. That is a pretty high quality bow. I mean, I don't know how much that matters overall, but it is something. Oh, Bill is actually a pretty good fighter here. Although they're just here temporarily. It makes sense. They are Huskars. Um, I feel like we should probably prioritize on the not dying part of the game. 
i.e. well constructing our walls apparently our temple as well but that's what i could do is just forbid this for a little while okay traders are leaving that's good that's fine oh this oh all right um, let's just say this video has gone on fairly long here, so it's time to put in a cut. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye.